In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to connect your Shopify store to a Google channel or a Facebook channel or any other social media channel like Instagram. The idea is to advertise your products into the social media in order to bring more traffic and hence bring more sales. To connect this particular shop which I have opened, go to the apps page visit the Shopify app store search for the app the name of the app which I'm going to use is Feed Genie so the spelling is F -E -E -T and J E N I when you search for it uh, this just remember this icon the orange and blue icon so product feed generator by Feed Genie when I click on it uh, I have uh, being presented with a button called add app click on it it will redirect you to the Shopify store uh, review all the permissions and click on install app after the app has been installed the next step is to create a feed a feed is a file hosted on the feed genie server which will allow Google, Facebook, or Instagram, or Bing, or any other channels to fetch all your products and then show in their Mercia Center or catalog. So let's get started by creating a basic feed. Click on this button, provide a feed name. I'm going to provide a test feed name. And choose a channel where you are going to publish all your products. So in this case, I'm going to choose Google, but you can choose any other social platform like Facebook, Instagram, Bing, Pinterest, Snapchat, My Shopping, so on and so forth. In the next step, it's important for you to categorize your products in terms of your store category and then map it to the channels category. For example, I'm going to click on the bag store category which is there in my store. Let's click on select category. And it will on the left hand side you will see a, a list of categories which are supported by Google channel. So we have provided a handy button on the top. You can click on search for bag and it will show you all the suggestions which are applicable for the bag. So for example in our case we will link uh, the bag category in our store to the Google's category on sporting goods. Once you have done that, click on save. Now the bag category has been linked to the appropriate Google category. Do this for all the categories. For the purpose of this demo, I'm going to skip this step. Go to the next step, which is product filtering. If you want to only include a specific set of products into your feed you can do this with this option uh, however you need to upgrade your plan for feed genie to get this option enabled in your account so this is an optional step you don't need to do it and then finally click on create so it will take uh, a moment to create your feed uh, you can do a quick refresh to see if it is already created. All right, so the name of the feed is test feed and this is the URL. You can copy it using this button. The, the name of the channel is Google and number of products is 22 and that is in our store. Step, I have opened Google Merchant Center and I have created a blank account. To add that feed into Merchant Center, head over to products click on upload multiple products see all methods so I'm going to choose the United States as the country of origin and or country of sale and language as English click on continue uh, give a feed name I'm going to use the same name here uh, it doesn't matter you can choose any name and then uh, click on schedule fetch so what so there are four options here you can connect your google merchant account to either google sheets 
or fetch it from a URL, which is applicable in our case, or you can upload a single file on your uh, on your PC, or then contain the API. So I, we are going to use schedule fetch. Continue and click uh, enter the file name, which is uh, basically hosted on FeedGD server, and the file name is export.txt. So enter that here, and then fetch frequency. So if you are updating your products on a daily basis, click on fetch frequency is daily. Or if you are not updating your products, if it is like very not very frequently, you can choose weekly or monthly. And then you can click, uh, you can basically choose a fetch time. So for example, if you are staying in United States, you choose your fetch time and time zone appropriately. And then the, finally, the file URL, which we copied. So just do a paste. So this URL from, from the feed genie will be uh, applied here. And then it will automatically pull data from there. Uh, there is no need to put username and password. Click on create feed. Allow the file to be processed. If it is not showing as your file is being processed, you can click on fetch now just to push Google to fetch it right away and give it a quick refresh. All right, so the feed has been processed and I can see 22 items have been imported. However, 22 items have been disapproved as well. So the reason is specified right below. So you have four issues. One is missing shipping information, missing tax information, website URL not claimed and missing registered URL. To fix these two errors, actually it is very simple. So go to the settings, choose a shipping method and for the tax problem, choose go to the sales tax section and then provide a taxes information. Both of these options are out of scope of this video and for the other two, you have to simply, uh, since this is a blank uh, merchant center account. Uh, I have not claimed the URL, but uh, if you claim the URL and then apply the URL, all the four errors will go away. Uh, that completes this video tutorial. Uh, thank you for watching. We'll be coming up with more detailed tutorials on how to connect your store to Facebook and then more uh, later on. Thank you.